Hello guys and welcome to another exciting video on this channel. In this video, I'm going to create a graffiti style text design inside of Unity Designer. Now, these type of design that you are seeing here uh, on this Google search result, um, these type of designs are used uh, mostly in kind of uh, music, uh, hip hop style uh, apparel, t-shirts uh, and all our print products like uh, trousers or maybe all our print hoodies, something like that. And also uh, these type of designs are really good for sports themed and fitness themed um, designs and products as well. So uh, the goal is to create a simple text uh, with a different kind of gradient effect and uh, some kind of outline effect uh, and, and just to make it feel like uh, you know, this graffiti uh, look. And now I'm not going to draw the letters by themselves if you are looking for that kind of tutorial maybe this is not for, uh, for that. Uh, purpose I will be using a font and then I will be applying some effects inside affinity designer uh, to get this look of graffiti so uh, let's start creating the design so first I'll create the file and new create a new document and I'm using 15 by 18 inches and that's used for uh, uh, much by Amazon t-shirts designs so uh, but I mean, you can use any other design uh, you know dimensions as you like so 300 dpi is uh, necessary for printing so let's just create it and before i do that i need to create a background so these type of design look good on black background so i'm going to create a rectangle shape here and fill it with a black color without any kind of stroke now i need to lock this up because i do not want to accidentally move it now uh, the first thing we need is just text so i'll use this text tool and inside this text tool make sure that you are selecting this artistic text tool not the text frame text tool so i'm using artistic text tool and i'm going to type uh, let's say piece so P E A C is that type. Uh, so piece, it's invisible. Uh, it's invisible because it's black. Let's change it to white color. Now this doesn't look like a graffiti, of course. And uh, we need to use some kind of graffiti font. So let me choose a font that I might think is suitable for a uh, graffiti style of uh, artwork. And yeah, this looks more like a graffiti font. Maybe we need to scale it down a bit because we are going to apply some kind of strokes here. So yeah, this uh, the font looks good and now it's just time to color it. Now, now one thing we can do is to add a stroke around it. So let's just add, there are two ways you can add strokes around this text. First in there, you can also, uh, you can add that uh, stroke inside this appearance panel and also in the layer panel if you choose this fx uh, layer fx button here if you click it you get this uh, pop-up window and you can choose an outline so uh, i'm going to use both of these techniques in this purpose because i'm going to apply two strokes to this so i'm going to choose the uh, outline and maybe radius change increase the radius and change the colors so that we can see it uh, maybe let's just make it uh, Kind of uh, maybe red color and uh, if we need to change it later on we can definitely do it so yeah it's a uh, we have increased uh, the this uh, stroke width or more like uh, more you can say that outline width so yeah uh, this looks uh, good and let's just close it and now let's apply another stroke here using this appearance panel since so in, in this appearance panel i'm going to uh, choose a stroke width and uh, let's choose uh, maybe a different color so let's choose maybe a lighter color and uh, maybe you know just uh, maybe yellowish um, and uh, we need to change the fill color i think in order to see the effect more clearly so yeah let's choose it uh, yellow for the movement here and let's choose the fill type and uh, inside of color simply we need to choose a gradient fill so inside the gradient fill i think i will select kind of a greenish tone and uh, another color i might choose maybe some kind of maybe blue or orangish let's see which which looks good and maybe pinkish would look much better so yeah pinkish and uh, I think yeah pinkish look would uh, look better and instead of green let's choose 
maybe an orange i think this looks good a darker orange something like that that's looking pretty good and uh, the gradient type we definitely need a linear and we can also choose the different type of um, you know gradient and i think it looks better with this linear and uh, uh, midpoint is okay opacity is okay and yeah this looks better now i want the gradient to uh, appear from bottom to the top for that we choose this fill tool and change this gradient of uh, these handles and uh, change the position of the gradient the way it appears on this uh, our text and i think this looks good slightly you can you know slightly maybe slanted something like that i think this looks better and anyway, we can change it if we want it later on so yeah uh, this is looking pretty good let's just save it so that uh, in the case of any crash it does not we do not lose it so yeah uh, we have a stroke actually two strokes and uh, we i can i think i sh can increase the outer stroke red stroke a little bit just to give it a little different thicker effect so yeah it's looking pretty good and now we can add some kind of effects inside this text so for that purpose i'm going to uh, create an abstract shape using this pen tool and you know just uh, kind of a uh, irregular type of shape nothing uh, you know nothing specific so i have created this shape and i have closed it and let's fill it with some color and uh, then see how it uh, affects our text now in order to appear it inside the text we need to make this curve a child of this text so i'm going to bring it and bring below this text and make it a child of text now you can see that this white area actually white color appears inside the text only it does not appear outside uh, the text and in order to have a better uh, make it look better we need to change the color and also i think we need to change the blend mode as well so for that purpose i'm going to uh, change the fill color and before i do that i need to choose this hand tool because i do not want to see these edges of this shape so i will choose the hand tool and then i'm going to uh, change the fill color and uh, let's choose fill color maybe slightly darker or maybe something like that and uh, purplish i think that would look better maybe i told you when you know whole design thing totally depends upon how you feel it it would look and uh, what kind of look you are want to get so let's change the blend mode and see if we get some interesting look to this i'm liking this overlay uh, look overlay effect and but i need to make it a little bit stronger so let's do this overlay effect and uh, maybe just change the color a little bit so that uh, let's see maybe it would look a little bit better so maybe changing the color would help uh, a little bit and uh, let's make it a little bit darker maybe lighter and if we need to make a copy of it we can do that as well so yeah it does not affect much and i think we need to uh, change the color maybe change the color of the text itself and maybe make this slightly pinkish a little darker and uh, no yeah i think uh, this looks fine and maybe create a copy of it and uh, let's see how that looks yeah it looking it's looking better i need to maybe decrease its opacity so that it's not that harsh so yeah it's looking better and we can add more effects to it uh, maybe choose a brush vector brush tool choose a some kind of a brush any brush that uh, you might like and let's maybe choose this one and start creating uh, random shapes here inside it and uh, for that purpose maybe i can i want to change the color of this one to slightly lighter you know something light and maybe just uh, you know create random shapes and uh, as you can see that our shapes are being filled inside our uh, uh, you can see the text they are not outside the reason they are inside the text is because when i started 
uh, using this brush tool a vector brush tool I, uh, this layer was selected and uh, because of that and anything new that i create would be above this layer and there's all of these that's why all of these layers are inside this text so that's why these are all of these layers are inside that the text and you don't have to move them inside it and make them a child so yeah, this is looking pretty good and uh, i would like uh, to add some more effects to it and for that purpose i think i would uh, add some kind of uh, circles and some of the geometric shapes so let's create some kind of circles outside here and uh, maybe create a few copies of these change the size of the circles and uh, you know change the position of the circles as well and uh, let's create a few copies and then let's see and uh, no, no, let's I'll show you what uh, we can do with these circles so i have created these uh, circles random circles i can fill them with random color uh, but let's uh, just fill them with the single color i'm not want to change it and maybe make it a little bit bluish uh, darker purplish anything so yeah uh, let's fill it up with this color and let's group them together and make them a child of our text layer that is this piece text so i have made it a child it's not visible because it's below the text let's move it above uh, this thing and uh, place them here inside our text it's looking pretty good i don't think i have to change this uh, blend mode and maybe you know changing the layer blend options uh, might give us some kind of a little bit different or uh, a little bit uh, some things unique color dodge looks good and but uh, we need to change the fills color I, in this case in order to see uh, you know making them pop out yeah maybe just change the you know blend option because i'm not liking this thing i think multiply looks good we have created our text and uh, we have filled it with some colors and if we want to change our uh, you can say that if you are not liking the strokes you can definitely change it and maybe let's just change the you know outline this stroke that we have created let's change it from red to maybe some other thing maybe purplish bluish um, something that would fit our look of the inside of the text i think this purple looks better uh, but oh let's just uh, move on with this kind of pinkish reddish color and uh, maybe you know just change the yellow a little bit and make it a little bit thicker and let's move it uh, outside align the strokes outside and uh, let's just make it a little bit thinner and uh, i think that looks better so along uh, align the stroke to the inside and uh, yeah this looks this is looking better i think that's looking pretty good and now what we can do is that apply some kind of extra elements uh, behind it and so let's just start by you know creating some kind of circles random circle shapes and uh, putting them behind our text and maybe you know positioning them here and there and uh, changing the color of our uh, main these circles to anything so maybe this yellow and then this one should be a little bit pink and uh, yeah this one should be maybe a reddish so let's just copy these and paste these and uh, maybe paste them here and change its shape like that you know increase its size and this totally depends upon what kind of looks you are get want to get 
and uh, maybe you can use the pen tool and create some kind of uh, you know drapes and uh, some kind of elements and uh, let's just fill it with some color maybe yellowish color and uh, bring it behind it maybe decrease this size so yeah it totally depends upon what you uh, what kind of look you want to get and uh, let's just uh, maybe decrease its size and uh, place it here maybe i'll just lock this text layer because i don't want to move it accidentally and uh, let's make it smaller and uh, let's just like, move it here and uh, maybe create kind of a yellowish uh, look additional look and uh, you know, do like this and uh, so it's looking pretty good and i think that's fine and uh, if you want to add more effects you can definitely do whatever you want to do it some kind of grunge effect maybe you can use this uh, vector brush tool choose a brush uh, uh, kind of scattered type of look and uh, increase the you know pixel size and uh, maybe you know just start uh, by you know creating some kind of random effects to it now it has some kind of transparency effect which uh, i don't think would look better while printing but uh, you can definitely do it and let's just uh, select all of these and change its uh, color to maybe just uh, instead of fill color let's choose uh, the stroke color and use uh, pinkish type of I think that looks better so let's group them together and place them behind our main uh, circle area and maybe just change the color i don't think this looks good and uh, maybe you know just change the stroke from this to more like this one i think this looks better so yeah uh, i think uh, this looks better and uh, in fact i'm liking mo uh, this one more as compared to this one uh, but uh, definitely it's up to your choice how you want to see it and I might add some kind of lines and something like that and uh, make it more uh, unique and dif uh, different so yeah the purpose of this tutorial was not to uh, show you exactly what to do uh, but it was just to inspire you and show you that this is what you can do inside affinity designer using this tool and it's not really difficult if you are interested in these kind of colorful graffiti style of look uh, creating these kind of text and effects and you can also create uh, you, you know this technique to create um, different text different designs and put them together inside a pattern create a seamless pattern which can be used for all of our print products and then uh, this looks pretty good on uh, clothing especially on all our print products if you are uh, into that um, you know creating patterns and all so uh, hopefully this tutorial has inspired you and you have found some useful tips in this if you have any question regarding this tutorial or any of my previous videos you can definitely ask me in the comments uh, below the, uh, those videos and i'll try my best to answer those comments and if you're interested in learning more design tutorial graphic design t-shirt design print on demand design and if you are interested in earning online make sure that you subscribe to this channel because on this channel i share tutorials and tips regarding these topics so uh, yeah definitely subscribe to this channel and don't forget to press that bell icon so that you can be notified about my future videos as well and thank you for watching